Hello, Gemini viewers. I've been gone for a long time, but I am back now. I'm still doing private readings as well, so if anyone wants a private reading, my email is right below in the description box. That email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. And I appreciate you guys engaging with the video, you know, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing the video out, just, you know, positive engagement. I'm trying to get back in the algorithm, get my, my videos promoted again by YouTube. So thank you guys for your support. All right, let's, let's see what's going on. Not today, not dealing, golden mirror, narcissistic, one-sided, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, healthy choices, self-love, watching, looking. Okay, this is somebody who's really trying to get back in your energy field. I feel like this is somebody that you cut out of your life or somebody, it could even be somebody that you still love, but you just don't want to give them any more time and energy is kind of the sense that I'm getting because it's like, you know, you have like the not today card, like you're just not dealing with it. You're kind of seeing this person in a different light, realizing how selfish they can be. I feel like this person is deeply hurt. They're, feels like they're trying to get back in your energy is the overall sense that I get here. You might get an invitation from this person, but I feel like you're making healthy choices here. And this could also be you seeking your friends for support, relying on your friends, not, you know, helping, maybe having your friends keep you accountable so you don't fall back into this old pattern with this person. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing, unconditional love, date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there. For some, I actually feel like you're dating new people or you're trying to date new people. Like you're trying to put yourself back out there and this person is kind of spying on you. They're watching you. They're jealous. Separation, sadness, missing you, coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, you know, growth, change. They're, they're realizing that you're done with this. They're realizing that you're... For some of you, I feel like you might be trying to make them jealous, like you might be posting certain things on social media, like posting that you're just living your best life or you're going out with new people. This person definitely notices it, like I'm getting the sense that they do kind of feel like, like you are talking to somebody else, even if you're not, they're just getting that sense that you are, like they're, or they're worried about that possibly passion insane chemistry yeah this feels like a situation where it was like very hot and cold like it was very passionate there's a lot of chemistry there but it's like someone was always running someone was always chasing it wasn't really a stable relationship the butterfly camera learning from the past abundance manifesting what you want love call someone expressing love I feel like this person wants you now that they can't have you and like also just realizing I don't know what it is but they're really jealous of something right now jealousy is coming through so strongly like they're just really worried that you're talking to somebody new or that you're going to start talking to new people soon like they just feel like you're even if you're just like at home alone in your pajamas all the time just watching Netflix they think that you're you know going out and seeing people they might even be driving by your house and, you know, seeing if your car is there, seeing if anybody's there with you. It, it's like this person's really spying on you. Because I keep getting this energy where it's like you're moving forward. You know, you have this, you're manifesting what you want. And then you get like this love call from somebody. It's like this person just keeps trying to come back in. So let's get some more details on this. The Hermit. Knight of Pentacles. Angel de la Nu, what's in this in this deck, it means um basically like almost like a like a, a psychic awakening, like the like getting through the dark night of the soul process. It's also just basically like the light at the end of the tunnel. Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. 
Knight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Let's see here. Nine of Cups. Five of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Okay, this person basically wants to keep you stagnant is what I'm feeling here. I feel like it's almost like too little too late with this person. So it just feels like somebody that was in hermit mode for way too long with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like the Knight of Pentacles is a stable knight, but it, it's like somebody that just took way too long to bring this love offer in. You know what I mean? Like they kept procrastinating. And I think at this point you're in like either a king or queen of swords energy where you're more guarded. You're not as open to it anymore. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. It's like you're going forward. Let me look more into this too. Because so we've got Nine of Cups, Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles. This is almost like a if I can't have you, nobody can have you energy. You know, it's, it's like you're manifesting what you want. Nine of Cups is like wishes fulfilled. And this is also, I always see her as like someone that's kind of seductive. Someone that's like going out and meeting new people, you know, manifesting love. And with the Five of Swords, though, it's like this person like wants to block that. That person sees that you're doing this. They see that you're manifesting everything you want. And it, it's almost like they're jealous of... They're jealous of the people around you, but they're also jealous of your abundance. They're jealous that you're manifesting things. This could be, you guys might, might both be people that like manifest, that like really focus on like manifesting money, love, success. And I feel like you have more blessings and more abundance coming in than this person does. And I feel like on some energetic level, this person is kind of aware of that. It's almost like this person is trying to dodge their own bad karma. So it just feels like you're just, you're manifesting, you're open, and this person's trying to block that. This person's trying to basically keep you stagnant. King of Pentacles, the Tower. Six of Swords. The World. King of Wands. Yeah, okay, for, so for a lot of you, I actually feel, I don't think like this person was a King of Pentacles necessarily, but I feel like you, and this could be an Earth sign too, you might be leaving an Earth sign and going towards a Fire sign, like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but for a lot of you, what I'm getting with the King of Pentacles, just from what I'm channeling, is I don't feel like this person was a King of Pentacles necessarily, but I feel like you wanted them to be that you random but I don't know why I'm seeing like a teddy bear or a stuffed animal some of you this might be might resonate with you some of them gave you like a stuffed animal but anyway I feel like this was like the potential you saw in them was king of pentacles they came off as more of like a, a you know queen or king of swords or somebody even like a maybe like a page just somebody who's not completely mature but I feel like you made excuses for this person I feel like you told yourself you know they just they've been through trauma they've been through you know they've, they've had a lot of bad relationships they maybe they were dealing with mental illness I, I feel like you just kind of I feel like you kind of ignored the red flags you just kind of fixated on their potential you kind of fixated on who they could be and they were showing you every day who they were, but you were kind of just focused on, you know, who they could be, what you wanted. I feel like in a way you were trying to make them, you know, it was like convenient in a way. So you were trying to make them into your ideal partner. Or maybe you saw who they really were at the core or just, you know, you saw the potential there, who they could be. And so it's like you kind of focused on that. But I feel like there was so many red flags like on a day-to-day -day basis and it, it's it's like you kind of just swept them under the rug and you just felt like if you were just patient with them long enough, if you just supported them, you felt like basically like you could be strong enough for the both of you. You felt like you could take the burdens on for this person, that you could just carry all the weight of the relationship on your own. And eventually that led to a tower moment, I feel, you know, where it's like you couldn't do that on your own anymore. And I think that you kind of just took the blindfold off and you realize that, you know, this person's not a king or queen of pentacles. This person's not the king of pentacles is somebody who's mature, who's, 
stable, grounded, loyal, um, honest. This could even be somebody that like maybe cheated on you in the past and you told yourself like, you know, they're, they're working through it. I know they're not going to cheat on me again. Or somebody that wasn't good with finances or they weren't good with just just not very stable and I feel like you told them you you told yourself if you just you know waited it out if you just supported them and if you just loved them deeply enough that eventually you know they would become this person eventually that love would be enough for them and it, it's not saying your love wasn't enough it was just I, I feel like I don't want to say the potential was an illusion necessarily um I think there was more just that there was too many incompatib incompatibilities there. And like I said, for some, I feel like you were actually like you you were kind of projecting and, and seeing maybe like your ideal person or maybe like someone, maybe you're picking up on another energy, like another spirit of somebody who um, who you're meant to meet. And you were just, you know, pretending like it was this person because you you were ready to be with the one you're ready to have marriage and to have commitment and so you're just kind of like pretending, like living in that fantasy, like, okay, this is, this is that person. I don't, I don't want to start from square one. I don't want to go date again. I don't want to put myself out there again. I've already put so much effort and energy into this. You know, you're going to have to be what I want you to be. And I feel like that all just came crumbling down, you know, with the tower moment. I feel like you realize that this person is just, whether they can't be or whether they just don't want to be, either way, they're they're not the king of pentacles. You recognize that. You're moving forward with the world card. You're wrapping up this cycle. Um, and you have a king of wands, a king or queen of wands, maybe possibly someone with a lot of fire energy in their chart that you're manifesting. Let's see what else the cards want to say. But now it's like this person feels this, this, this person, this, um, this ex of yours or this, this past connection, they feel that energy. They feel that you're manifesting this person and they're trying to block it. Um, but I mean, I think that you're in your power and I think that you're energetically aware. Some of them, some of them could be doing witchcraft to block block you from meeting new people as well. Like if you were dating somebody that's into witchcraft, it is possible. Um, and I'm a witch myself, so I'm not, you know, I'm I'm not hating on other witches at all. I'm, you know, every every witch is different. Like some some witches will do that kind of spell work, some won't. I don't judge anybody. It's just it's, you know, it's it is what it is. But um. But yeah, for some, I really feel like this person just, they feel that king or king or queen of wands, like right around the corner. I almost feel like, this is a really interesting energy that I'm getting. For some of you, like, especially for those that are really spiritual, like for some of you, it's like you're psychics yourself, or you're very intuitive, very spiritual, very open. For some of you, I feel like you were actually channeling this king or queen of wands for years, like you actually felt like this person was going to come into your life, like this, this passionate person, charismatic, you know, you felt like you felt the energy of your true love. And I almost feel like this person was a karmic. And I feel like they kind of pretended to be that person. They, they, it, it's almost like in an energetic sense, they kind of realized you were looking for your true love that you were looking for certain qualities and so they kind of just faked it they kind of put on a mask for you and pretended to be those things to to try to make you happy and eventually they just couldn't keep up the act anymore you know but it, it's almost like they just kind of um blocked your actual true love from coming in um yeah it's very interesting energy here Let me see what else we can get on this. So I hope that makes sense for those of you that are spiritual, for those of you that, that channel. It's almost, it's almost like in like an energetic level. It's like they just, they knew what you were looking for and they just kind of intercepted and they're like, oh, I'm this king of, I'm this person, you know, like you don't, this, that's not somebody else. I'm the one. I've been channeling you too. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of illusion, but this person ended up just being a karmic. But um, yeah, anyway, so where we're at now is I feel like you're, you've wrapped this cycle up. You don't want this anymore. You know, you've had the tower moment. You see this person differently. You realize that it's, it's not, there's no compatibility there. 
but this person is jealous this person is is they want revenge almost i feel like they're prideful so for some they're doing either witchcraft or they're doing some type of manifestation work um or some type of like energy work um to try to block this person from coming in let's look more into this because it just feels like they're spying. It feels like they're either keeping tabs on you themselves, like on social media, or like if, if you have them blocked, they might be having their friends keep uh, keep tabs on you and report back to them. They, you know, like might be asking their friends like, oh, did, did so-and-so go out this weekend? Like, you know, did you drive by? Like, was their car at home? Was anybody else there? You know, asking questions. It's like they're not really, this person's not really willing to let this go. I feel like this person is also bitter too because they feel like they spent a like put a lot of time and effort into this relationship as well. Judgment. The high priestess. Yeah, you're let's see. King of Cups. Page of Cups. I almost feel like this person to some degree is also matching your energy where they might be psychic and intuitive themselves. And I'm kind of getting, like, with the King of Cups energy, I'm getting that's that's another side of aspect of this, this King of Wands personality. And it feels very nurturing. It feels like this person's very loving, very gentle, very empathetic. And I'm getting a very, like, it's a very strong, very gentle, but very protective energy that I'm getting from this King of Cups energy, from this other, as this other you know, aspect of the King of Wands. Um, you know, again, two sides, same person, but two sides to their personality is what I'm channeling from it. But yeah, I feel like you guys are telepathically connected right now. And I feel like that link is very strong, where even if you haven't met each other yet, you're, you're maybe having dreams about each other, or you're just having visions, or you're just telepathically very connected. Like you can feel like you might be feeling good. Like you just, you're feeling happy. You just feel like there's somebody right around the corner. Like you, you guys are already picking up on each other's energy. They're in your energy field right now. And I feel like they're protecting you. I really do. Like with the judgment and the high priestess too, I just feel like your intuition is protecting you as well because you're not willing to ignore the red flags again with that past person, you know, so you're more aware where in the past you might have been like, oh, they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't do this to me or they wouldn't betray me like that. But now you're you're opening yourself up and you're like, you know, maybe they would. Maybe they, you know, you're, you're looking into it more. You're doing you're you're digging deep to to get the truth. You're making those hard judgment calls. You're in the the high priestess or the the hierophant energy here. Nine of Pentacles also, you know, this is somebody that's that's abundant, somebody that's that's strong, that's stable, that's just basically doing their own thing. Five of Pentacles. What is the Five of Pentacles about? The star. You're coming out of um Five of Pentacles can be poverty financially. It could also be like spiritual and mental poverty and anxiety as well. But with the star here, there's like hope. Like you're coming out of that. You're leaving that cycle behind page of pentacles you're in this very you're coming into um that's really beautiful too queen of wands that's the counterpart to the king of wands you're coming into your power basically you're you're basically um leveling up right now is what i'm feeling ten of pentacles you're manifesting quickly too i think some of you are some of you have maybe been struggling with anxiety or you've been struggling with um with like mental health or with even like with finances, but it looks like, like, look how quickly you go from like the five of pentacles to, you know, to hope, to healing, to, to, you know, manifesting, to just being in your power, you know, especially with the queen of wands here and the 10 of pentacles, it's like, you're about to have everything, you know what I mean? You're about to, I feel like almost like this person could be financially well off too, and they might be helping you a little bit financially. They might be bringing that balance in, but whatever it is, I feel like you're getting, you're about to have abundance coming in. Like you're, you're getting through these financial issues quickly. You might have some unexpected blessings coming in. Yeah. Cause you're letting go of the burden. I feel like this past person was holding you back a lot too. Like they were kind of, I almost feel like. I almost like energetically what I'm channeling is I almost feel like this person, the, the, the ex, not the new person, but the ex that we were channeling, I feel like they, 
had a lot of bad karma. I feel like this could have been somebody that was, I don't want to say like, I don't know if like lazy is the right word, but I'm, I'm not getting that they were like a malicious person necessarily, but just that they might have bad karma just because they didn't think like they didn't really, it just seems like somebody who's just kind of spiritually lazy. Like they didn't really think about in terms of energy or, or they didn't think about how their actions and their words affect people. They just, they didn't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? They were just kind of spiritually lazy. And I feel like they actually had some pretty bad karma from that. And I feel like you tried to take on that bad karma for them. It was almost like a weird energetic exchange between, between the two of you where it's like they had bad karma and you tried to like lessen their bad karma or you tried to just um, maybe heal it for them or you try, you know what I mean? Like you tried to bring blessings in for them and it, it's like it just wasn't it wasn't really working. You know what I mean? You were just kind of inter interrupting this person's karmic path. And, um, and I feel like they were actually blocking your blessings in a lot of ways. And I feel like now that you've, you've cut this person out, like maybe you're cutting the cords, you might be, you know, doing a cut and clear ritual on them for those of you that are, you know, that, that do witchcraft. Um, you know, you're free, you're letting the burden go. Hierophant, you're in your power. You're, yeah, the fool. You have a brand new start. Four of wands, and that's, you know, peace, stability, happiness. You know, you've got healing as well that you're doing. And then you're, I feel like for some of you, you're just taking time out to just kind of heal and process everything and just enjoy this time to just have, you know, just peace and just, you know, reclaiming your power, stepping into this nine of pentacles energy and having these new starts in, in business and love and everything. And then you're going to have this, this person, um, this king of wands type come in and you guys are going to be building a lot together. Three of pentacles. Yeah. And this is going to be a rewarding relationship. This, look at these cards. Um, that's amazing. Two of cups. That's like soulmates, twin flames. It's, it's true love, you know, in six of pentacles is, you know, mutual giving and receiving that like there's like a balance here in this connection. It's, it's not one sided. It's like they're, you guys are both financially stable and you're both taking care of each other. They're, you know, if, if you're working, then they're, you know, cleaning and doing the dishes or you're both working and you're both, you know, taking care of the house. This isn't, you know, I feel like with the past person, you had to pick up the slack for them. You had to like make excuses for them. I almost feel like you had to make excuses like to your friends and family, like, oh, they're, they're not lazy. They're just, you know, they've been through a lot or, um, you know what I mean? Like, like something was just off there, but with this new person, it's like, you don't have to make the excuses. You don't, cause you're not going to have to carry that burden anymore. You're not going to have to pick up the slack for them. There's going to be that, that mutual give and take. It's going to be a very balanced relationship here. Yeah. It's more, you know, nine of swords, ace of cups. And I, I love how you have these transitions. Like you notice like how you have like poverty and all of a sudden it's like you go to 10 of pentacles. It's like you're getting out of that, you know, that, that sadness and that energy, that, that energy that you've been stuck in. Like you're making these really big life choices and going through this transformation where it's like, you're going to be kind of in your head. And then it's like, before you know it, it's like you have this love offer come in. You know what I mean? It's, it's almost like, I feel like this king of wands, you might meet them when you're out in public or you might meet them. Um, I just, I'm getting like a very fast energy. Like, can you confirm that? Very fast energy. Six of cups, queen of cups. For some, it could be, hmm. Could be a past person for some. I think what it's saying is this other person needs to be dealt with. So some of you need to like cut and clear this person or you just need to like protect your energy more from them. Um, I would look into, for those of you that do practice witchcraft, I would look into cut and clear rituals because it's like there's like dishonesty, escapism, like making choices. So it's kind of, and this is talking about someone from your past. So I think, I think what the cards are trying to say, like it's kind of up to you how quickly this comes in, but this other person needs to be blocked out to really allow this abundance to come in. But I really feel like this person, this king of wands is like, like you guys are um, channeling each other. You know what I mean? Like you're both kind of looking for each other right now. And with the Ace of Cups, it's like you get out of this energy quickly where it's like you're having anxiety, you're feeling trapped. And then it's like you just meet someone like that. Like you just, you know, 
one day you're single, the next week you're like in a relationship where you just you you might not you might not even see it coming. So it's it's a really good energy overall. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching my video. And if this resonates, if you want a private reading, just email me. And uh, please comment, please like, please share, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.